Hey guys, here we go with episode 3. Uh, I think I might be one turn ahead of what I was when I stopped the last one, because I think I hit next turn when I loaded in just out of habit, because I realized just everything was set to wait. Um, I'm still going to check out the Sweden, I think. They're kind of... Yeah, see, they still want a COD. So, yeah, that's not happening. Uh, the Anarchists are still going God knows what down here. Probably trying for Takazu over here, but I don't think they are going to do it. I think they're trying to want to pull the trigger, but they realize they can't do it. So he's just kind of stuck. <laughs> he's just kind of like, what? <laughs> and I actually did remember what my plan was. My plan was, that I was hoarding all this cash for, was I was going to pick up Florence um, after I hit the uh, the Renaissance in seven turns with uh, acoustics here. Because if I did it before that, I might end up going... You know, somewhere down like here, which wouldn't be bad, you know, going for therapy or something. Wouldn't be terrible. I'd, li I'd like to get into rationalism and secularism and free thought as soon as possible. So, that is part of my cash hoarding thing. Yeah, I know I could buy a workshop and a COD, but it's about to grow to 7 pop right now, and when it does, I'm going to switch it to a uh, productive focus, which will make things go much faster. Uh, well, I am meeting all these city states, just, yeah, not the ones I'd want to meet. Not the way I'd want to meet them. Uh, I guess Davey's buying on these city-states up. Oh, hey, I got a new... Oh, hey, a pikeman. Cool. That's gonna be some garbage units. It doesn't give you catapults or something dumb like that. <laughs> Pikeman's not bad. That's legit. Uh, but, yeah, I'm gonna switch these guys to production focus. So, yeah, nine turns on the workshop now instead of, like, 15 or whatever the heck it was before. That's a lot better, obviously. <laughs> okay, now the workshop here is... Uh, yeah, seven turns. If I... Reset that's not gonna change anything, is it? Nope, six turns. The reason I'm saving such money is because these guys are hostile, so it might actually be take a while for me to uh I'm gonna get to pay them a little, a little bit more often. Pay them off rather. Uh Zurich, let's see. Uh yeah, let's just give you two fifty while we're at it, while we're in here, because you saw the quest going on. And I might forget if I don't do it now. Um How's your food going? Uh actually no difference. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, let's get the food going here. Let's move you in here just in case he decides to come in there. And let's get you over here and work in the lumber mill here. Ooh, wow. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff in there. I'm not going to try to protect you. Because if he dies, you're just going to get stolen. Whoever guarding would die. <laughs> to like a bunch of pikemen and stuff. Eesh. And I may have to... I'm tempted to just... I think I was going to just buy this wheat tile while I'm at it for this city right here. For uh, a cod. Because once the workshop's done, I'll plop on that and get it going. Uh, Alright, five turns to acoustics. How are you guys coming into your universe? Uh, yeah, I so think your universe only takes five turns. Let's actually do your university first before I do your workshop. Now that I think about it, we'll get a cod's going in a bit. That's one of the good things about Science Victory when you're LPing it, it goes a lot faster. <laughs> but it's also kind of boring in a way if you're clicking next turn a bunch. <laughs> Right, these farms are done, which will be nice when I get the fertilizer. You know, I think to spice things up a little bit, I might actually go a little bit of uh, warmongerish stuff here. Not start up warmongerish, but you no, know, use my tech lead to like, I don't know, go down to like artillery or something and go beat up Washington just for fun, or beeline flight, or well, my luck, I won't have oil or anything, because I don't have that much land. Is the thing, and my city state allies might not have it either, so. I think I am actually going to go ahead and just pick up Florence now. Um, because it's close enough, and my luck, if I don't, Sweden will buy them off or something. <laughs> In the meantime. Alright, meanwhile, let's check our luxuries. Do we have anything we can sell? Uh, all those gems and stuff are coming to us from city states. Do these horses there. Alright, where is my other stuff? Alright, do I have any other. Someone mentioned in the comments that I didn't finish an ivory. I gotta find it. Uh, maybe they made this one. Uh, maybe that's why I didn't finish it either. I might have been distracted with this guy. <laughs> I may have run away. <laughs> oh well. Alright. Uh, I'm kinda tempted to go for the Hagia Sophia here just because there is still a religion slot, which is kinda weird. Although we'll probably end up getting someone's religion anyway. But, 
Eh, yeah, let's take a shot at it. It's not the end of the world, but I don't get it. And I, I may not, but, you know. Uh, yeah, we're starting to cause the divide. Blah. Yeah, no thanks. Actually, is this a good idea? This may not be a good idea, because I realize I have no fate generation or anything. <laughs> so this may be kind of a waste, even if I do get it. Yeah, more I think about this, let's not do this, even though I wasted my hammer overflow there, whatever. The little more rational side of me is kicking in and saying, hey, no, it's a bad idea. Plus, I might pick up someone else's religion. On the other hand, I could pick up Pilgrimage and use that. Uh, you know what, what the hell, let's try it. <laughs> we might as well. Wow, why, really? Oh, okay. Well, whatever. It's Caesar, is anyone really surprised? <laughs> oh, there's another city state down here. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, it's a good thing I picked up for it's if this is happening, the city state cascade's going. Alright, first manually generated grid scientist is up. Lock him down. Um, our university in here is done. I'm not going to try to pronounce the city. Pray botch it. Right, let's put good food focus so you can still grow a little bit while you're doing this. Um, actually, no, I screwed that up. For focus. Uh, really? Wait, what are you doing here? Like the tile. There we go. Alright, 11 turns. That's not too bad. Uh, we can go find that wheat for a little bit more food, too, while we're at in a bit. Uh, let's step you back. And you as well. Uh, yeah, you too. Let's get out of there. Well, okay, no, he'll only get hit by one guy. He should be okay. This guy's not so much. Uh, hey, we picked that forest up. Just go lumber millet. <laughs> Alright, four turns next policy, and then one, so, but, yep, yeah, acoustics next turn, so, we're gonna do renaissance. There we go. Wow, it was the first one of the renaissance, really? I guess it's not that surprising, because I'm Babylon, but still, usually someone gets beeline some renaissance tech and gets in there early in the game. One of the guys picks something to beeline, like, they pick gunpowder or something, and they just get up there really early. Because I think tech-wise, yeah, I'm still number four in tech, so... They must be actually be filling the tech tree out as they go. As they're just be lining attack. But let's go. Let's go spy on the Inca. Um, cause I don't know that Sweden will have anything interesting if they're still out here with like crossbows and stuff. And then number four in tech, since they've been warmongering, I get the feeling they might be a little behind in technology. So, yeah, they might have to fall back a little bit here because they got a bunch of composites and stuff coming in here. Uh, I think we'll be okay, though. I'm not gonna actually have to buy any, any units, I don't think, but... Oh, wait. Oh, God. Okay, get on there. I just realized they have open borders. He's open borders with Washington. Or, they still at war. I forget. <laughs> um... No, but he's open borders. Which I don't think he should be able to have, actually, but... Okay. <laughs> the EI has this thing where they can take open borders in a peace deal, even though that's actually impossible to do. Because you have to have an embassy first, and you have to end the embassy in the peace deal, and then the peace deal ends, and they didn't go get borders. But, even when they hate each other's guts, they'll still get the borders from the peace deal, which they wouldn't normally do. It's it's dumb. <laughs> Alright, there's guilds. Let's get the machinery here, I think. I get some crossbows to defend myself. Uh, yeah, you'll step back. Yeah, even, then, even with honor, these guys are kind of blown up. Where's my great general? Oh, there you are. I forgot you guys are back here defending against the Washington attack, which is apparently never going to come. <laughs> and get to finish him off. Um, yeah, you can actually fortify here. You'll be okay. Mr. Pike in the forest. He's got plenty. Yeah, no, he'll be fine. No, I was concerned taking pilgrimage as my, what you call it, as my um, belief for this, but I realized it may not even be available. Just to get some more, a couple more great people at the end of the game. Um, who picked what? 
ceremony burial, church property, and dialogue, and initiation rights are gone. So, pilgrimage is still there, although so is tithe. So, I don't know. We'll see. The question is, do I want to bother spreading a religion around like that if I'm just going to get, you know, starting to spend the faith on great scientists later on? Maybe better to get pilgrimage and get an extra great scientist or two. And that's assuming, of course, I don't get beat to the Hagia Sophia. <laughs> Which is kind of weird because Egypt is in the game and he's not built the Hagia Sophia. Or that many wonders at all. Okay, never mind. Yeah, he, he's built a lot of wonders. Okay, okay. He's built stone hands with pyramids, taking card and steal away mostly and Petra Tarakar army. Okay, I take that back. He, he is wonder spamming. And Hawatha is kind of wonder spamming. Everyone else is kind of, eh, but yeah. He's built seven wonders. Maybe because how many cities does he have? Because if Egypt doesn't oh, get that many cities up... Okay, he's only got three cities. That may be it. Because Egypt likes to sp spam a lot of cities, wonders in their different cities. I would say for the reformation bonus, but I don't think the AI is that smart. <laughs> so it's probably not. It's probably just spam. Uh, Yeah, I think he may have got here this turn, though, Mr. Uh, Pikeman. Right, let's clear this garbage out here. And, yep, you can, well, you can kind of get out of there. You can get over here. And he won't get shut up by as much stuff, so. I think. Is there a cause bomb in there? Yes, it is. Okay, well, yeah, we'll get you over here. So he might get shot up a little bit. And this pipe might get shot a little bit too, but I think he'll be, well. Yeah, he'll be okay. Cross the fingers, I guess. <laughs> Oh, well, there goes the religion, so I can actually... Well, I could build it. Oh, no, he died. Oh, well. <laughs> and he beat the Hag he built the Hagia Sophia anyway. Oh, well, let's... Well, right, let's actually change the production real quick if we can. <laughs> we'll steal a little bit. We'll still get some fail gold. Yeah, we'll get some fail gold out of it, which is part of the motivation. Oh, right, it kind of sucks. <laughs> well, anyway, let's open rationalism up here. So, I had to open my big mouth and jinx it about him building the Hagia Sophia or not doing it. Oh, well. Kind of a pipe dream, anyway. You could argue I might shouldn't have even been doing it at the start with. <laughs> Which you may have a point. Alright, so where are these... How many other cities did allies doing? Uh, Jakarta. Yeah, you want a natural wonder. I should probably get a scout out here some, at some point for this guy's done so I can go scout for some more natural wonders. What have I found so far? Uh, found two. There's still four out there. Present over here. I had a scout, but he got killed by the Swedes. So that kind of killed that. I don't think both of them got killed by the Swedes. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, but regardless, let's get down here and get this wheat going. All right, you're done with that. Let's. Uh, what are you gonna do anyway? Let's go chop these forests down up here, so you can pick up the tiles maybe a little quicker. Yeah, you guys are just gonna wait around. Actually, you shouldn't stay here. Just in the out chance watching the dows me. I don't want you getting shut up. How many maritimes are you have to reduce to doing? 63 and 60. Oh, Ooh, you have a quest too for money, don't you? Uh, oh, it just started. Okay. Well, we can wait that then. Uh, Zurich. Uh, that's right. I gave you money already. Uh, Jakarta, are you hostile? Not your friendly. Okay. But you have gems, so I don't really care. It would be the same luxury like a third time. <laughs> Wait, are there any ghost units around here? Okay, no. Uh, uh, yeah, there's that American settler probably going to drop up there. Whatever. That's just kind of dumb, but... Okay. <laughs> uh, hey, Hawatha, you're being plotted against. Uh, 15 turns. <laughs> That's kind of a lot. Let's go shopping. Uh, let's go shop. Um, let's go shop at Thebes. All right, what are you gonna do? Uh, yeah, you can go back up here. Get ready for the lumber mill in here when these guys go away. Finally, for good, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, I got 
up there and fuck this wheat. And the good thing about machinery is, I, jeez, there's another city state. Well, I'm meeting all the city states just because Sweden's spending all this money downing me. <laughs> are going to attack me, okay. All right, good thing about machinery is once this workshop is done in here, I can get in the ironworks here because my capital does not have that much production. Like, yeah, it's got 28 production, but it doesn't really, even with these hills, it's kind of ugly because, yeah, it doesn't have that many hills. <laughs> it's got a couple of lumber mills, and that's about it, sadly. So, as much as sometimes I like to spread it around, uh, put the ironworks in a different city to get it a bit more production, I, I can't really afford to do that here. All right, let's get an amphitheater going on the capital. Uh, yep, still the same difference here, 17. And that was Ragusa decaying, wasn't it? Uh, I guess it was. It wasn't. Yeah, I like how at least, I like how in Gods and Kings they tell you that there's a, they're about to decay. I think, if I recall quickly in Vanilla, it only told you like the turn before that they were going to decay. <laughs> um, when do you want to go from here? Well, I know where we want to go from here, we want to go to Architecture. Because we went the porcelain tower. It's definitely where we're going. All right, let's upgrade a couple of these composites to crossbows. Mr. Worker, uh, yeah, you can't go there because you'll get captured by that composite. So you can just wait there. Yep, farm. Yep, there goes Hawath into the Renaissance. I guess the tech base is a little bit slower because that's what happens when everyone wants to kill one another. When you got warmonger, 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 <laughs> warmonger, <laughs> kind of warmonger. <laughs> when you have a bunch of warmongers on the map, they're kind of busy murdering each other. Although, like I said, Hawatha is usually a tech beast. Just he's kind of being kept in check here by uh. How many cities does he have? Yeah, he's only got six cities right now. By his standards, that's being kept very in check. <laughs> so, considering how much he just loves to just spam him some settings up. Well, I guess we'll at least get some sh a shrine going here, because I do want to have some faith later in the game for some uh, great people purchases, or at least one great scientist. Although it is going to be kind of a pain in the butt with no religious city states that I've met so far. Because it is, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah, like 11 city states, and nothing more religious. Oh, that's right, I wanted the scout here is what I wanted. Duh. Alright, let's throw the crossbowman in there. And let's go scout up here. Okay, nothing's done up here, or nothing's lurking up there. You wanna make nice yet? No. No, you do not. <laughs> uh, who's... Oh, it's Mombasa. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Did you run out of places to put your units, or what? <laughs> Why is that there, Mombasa? Like, really? I kind of want the tile. I kind of want to get over there. And no longer fits up Jakarta. Whatever. Didn't really care. Alright, there's my scout. And, yeah, let's get back to the, the amphitheater here. Yeah, Washington has Minutemen, so, yeah, if he decides to down me, I am in a bit of trouble. Well, not necessarily. I have I have my crossbows and stuff, so I'm not too concerned. And how close am I to my next general? Very close. So if he did down me, I would have a, a possible Citadel to drop, which would be, yeah, Citadels, I can't overstate how insane Citadels are. Like, you just pop a pikeman in, in a Citadel and fortify it, and it, boom, it's at, like... 55 strength or something ridiculous like that. <laughs> because the Citadel gives uh, plus 100 defensive bonus to a unit in the tile, and then you fortify it for another 25 or 50 or whatever it is. I can't... Oh, off the top of my head, I feel dumb. I think it's 25. Uh, or whatever, but still. Even before promotions, it's, it's insanely hard to break. And then they come in and try to break it with melee units, and the melee units take 30 damage per turn. <laughs> so they're not getting anywhere. I've been playing... Uh, DD Challenge 23 on from the uh, CFC forum for this, uh, Germany. Uh, 11 turns. Now yeah, we can take that. And uh, yeah, I've been actually fighting off. Um, 
I've actually for a while I've been holding off pretty well against uh, rifles, or when I was holding rifles off with just one lens neck in a uh, <laughs> in a cell <laughs> against I a bunch of uh, a discipline boosted um, French rifles, or uh, yeah, French rifles, or was it? Is was the following it Mongolian? Of interest to you? Whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna buy Washington's border to get through for, get through here. I'm not gonna sell him mine because I get the feeling that would get him to down me. And wow, I just got my scout killed right after I cranked it out. Wow. Well, let's get a replacement going here. This is what happens when you talk while you're trying to do things. You don't always do the best thing. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Scout. <laughs> Okay, wow, he actually did did his borders end or something? Did he get kicked out maybe? That may have happened, because he Oh no, whatever. I'm I'm not gonna complain. Well now I have a second scout now though, so. Uh we actually we could I think we might do that. Let's just scrub optics here real quick, because I need to go into astronomy anyway at some point. Uh so I can put this stat in the water when he gets embarkation. Just since I since I have so many beakers, the uh, it's it's gonna take less than one turn with the beakers, so all the beakers will still go into it's something more important. Uh, your shrine's done. I could build a temple, but uh, I don't know. Um, what are you to build? Let's get your guard. Well, yeah, let's get a guard going here. I was gonna say uh, stable, but eh, not so much. Only two sources of uh, sheep. He doesn't have those horses up there. Alright, Babylon. Eh, yeah, let's go ahead and finish the amphitheater then. Since we had that overflow from the scout. Alright, let's chop that forest. And yeah, you'll just wait there. Dude, but shoot, Patrick Cutie is about to come fight you. What are you doing? Gonna go down him. I told you he's coming to fight you, and you're like, oh, I wanna go down this guy instead and give myself the war marker penalty. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you do that, buddy. Oh, hey, I've read how often ended. I was about to check when my stuff was going to end. Uh. Oh, you've no money, is why your stuff ended. Uh. Does anybody else have money? Good day. Uh, you don't want my stuff. Uh, you want my silver? Or... Actually, yeah, I'll go ahead and sell him my silver. Because I can. Because, I, yeah, I still have six happiness. Uh, I still have a bunch of happiness buildings to build. I uh, like the Coliseum and stuff, so that's fine. Uh, let's get Col Cod's Coliseum up while we grow them a bit. A good bit, actually. Well, let's see. This is five turns. This is seven turns. And that's seven turns worth of... Yeah, we'll do that. That's good. That's a decent trade, I think. What about you? Uh, ooh, 15 turns. Oh, well, okay, 12 turns down. That's not so bad. Uh, What's down here? Ooh, a lot of trebuchet and stuff. Let's check my great people anyway. How are they going? Is the next scientist gonna come? Nine turns, that's not too bad. So yeah, once I get the, uh, what you call it, the ironworks, I'm gonna crank a garden and the national epic out super fast, I hope. And then, by then, I should be up to architecture or near there. But then I can start the portion tower right away, so. Is this lumbering all done yet? No, it's not. Come on. <laughs> we get the pacer, guys. Alright, so as much as I like this song, it's been going for like three hours now, so I kind of wish it would change to something different. <laughs> I'm not kidding, it's been going for like 20 minutes now. <laughs> it needs to stop. Oh no, the Inger Watts. <laughs> the worst one in the game. Oh hey, a Longbowman. Nice. That's very nice. Um, yeah, just bunch of them here. Why? Blah blah blah. All right, let's mine that hill up here. Um, 
Ooh, actually, do you go optics? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, you're in. Okay, yeah, you can you can go to there now. So, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa that's a that's an American trebuchet. Not a Swedish one. Well, the Swedish units are gone again. They retreated, I guess. So now we can finally get this guy up here and finish this freaking ivory. <laughs> that would have did like 20 turns ago. And let's throw you. Actually, we gotta throw you in the water up here because my boss is being kind of a big dummy here. And there goes Alhambra. It really is weird how wonder timings and stuff get thrown off a little bit if the AI is being wormuggery, which they are right now. I mean, like I said, it's kind of... <laughs> yeah, yeah, Rome doesn't like people... Well, actually, there's not that many wars, I guess. Well, okay. No, they're kind of are, okay? They're at war with everyone. <laughs> He's at war with three people. It's mostly Egypt versus people, and me versus Sweden. And But there's about to be a war. These two are probably going to fight each other. Uh, Pachuti. Pachuti and uh, Palatha. Which is fine by me. They unfortunately they both have the possibility of being runaways, but maybe fighting each other they'll like cage each other on enough to just stalemate. Good god, the the Pachuti Pachuti in uh, uh yeah, no, sorry. In the uh in DJ Challenge twenty three, good lord. Um sure. I think right now he's become such a runaway, I think he has I'll I'll go into it later. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll do that. My ivory's coming up for trade now. That's good. Oh, yeah, dude, you don't need my help. Look at look at your money. <laughs> You've got all that money, and you're like, oh yeah, give me some stuff. No. But yeah, anyway, I believe he's sitting on about a hundred thousand gold right now, and about twenty two hundred gold per turn. <laughs> and the basically, it's just dumb. Unfortunately, and unfortunately for him, he did build the United Nations, which is basically the one of the two ways I can actually beat him, which is, yeah. Good job there, Mr. AI. Give me an out. Alright, so... Those are done. This ivory is done, finally. Let's go and prove this wheat. And let's chip at this guy while he's just sitting there. And actually, you can do the same thing. I can't bring you up here, though, because this guy's in the way. Yeah, we're just going to mine that. Or, Oh, hey, he, there we go. Well, then, but Pichikuti got into it. Finally. What tech can I steal from this guy, anyway? Uh, I hope it's not something dumb like Compass. That would be kind of goofy. <laughs> Probably, a sadly. Alright, tech-wise, hey, we're number two now. Behind Hawatha, not surprisingly. What did that accomplish? He's like, oh no, I'm getting shot up. Let me, let me switch the units around to something else that you can't do anything. There's my other general, so now if I need to drop a citadel, I have that option. Uh, Manila's not like doing anything over here, are they? They're just kind of there. <laughs> they don't have any units or anything, which is kind of dumb. What is he doing at Thebes, anyway? Uh, Forbidden Palace. Uh, yeah, you'll pay for this, blah, blah, blah. So, is he in the Golden Age? Let me see. Yes, he is. Go figure. When's the AI not in the Golden Age? Uh, and surprisingly, he's not running any... Oh, he's in production focus. That's why he's not running specialists. Uh, someone stole education. That's not cool. Yeah, I've noticed after... Basically, if they're not on production focus, the AI just runs all their possible specialists, no matter what. So that's why they have no clue how to do great people. They, they just generate whatever comes up. Which is kind of sad. Uh, oh, I have borders here. I can come over and kill you. There we go. <laughs> uh, there's... Yeah, it's Internoble. Alright, so my timing thing with the uh, gardens or whatever was a little bit off here with ironwork. And I was, or, uh, the ironworks, I was a little off about that, but oh well. A 
Yep, take my horses. Alright, so I got a lot, of, a lot of money now, but I am kind of saving it a little bit in case I, um... Oh. That's another reason. <laughs> in case I need to upgrade, I want to upgrade the, uh, upgrade these guys or buy some units or something. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and pull these guys back. And... Yeah, let's get you out of there. Let's shoot these guys up a little bit. Uh, yeah, you can pull back. You can shoot him. And let's finish upgrading these guys. In case some dumb coup happens. Uh, I have some spare money for that. Um, what are you going to do here? You know, I'll just get the amphitheater going here. This is the problem with the, uh, kind of like, the mid-game. You kind of start to run a, a little dry on money. Let's see, can I, can we trade borders? I'm okay trading borders with you because you're all friendly and stuff. And you're like a thousand miles away from me. I don't think she's gonna attack me. Even if she does, blah, whatever. She can't. Hey, Mr. Park Alley. Bye, Mr. Hey, Mr. Really? What? What? Okay. Sure. Let's go get you after the Barb Galley goes away. Assuming they do shoot it. Okay, they shot it. I'm sure it's gonna be like a dumb, something dumb, like a map or something. Okay, that's done. So we could uh, let's go build. I right, build the national epic real quick. At least get that done before. Um... Oh hey, more Swedish units. Uh, yeah, let's actually pull back here a little bit. I think. Um. Yeah, we can let's ship at you and ship you and let's throw you on there. So I think this might entice some of these guys to come in here. There's a uh, crossbow in, but they'll just get shot up. So I can set a little bit of a trap, I think. Hey, there's a city state I haven't met yet. Uh, I don't know who it is, but yeah. No, go away. Yep, there we go. Got in the moving a little bit. And Gonna get him killed, probably. <laughs> Looks like. Hey, you got accuracy. That's nice. Or at least get some of them killed, anyway. Yeah, yeah, you can fortify there. Oh, come on. Seriously? Yeah, I'll have the Rufus guy finish him off, so you can ship at this guy. Yeah, taking this fortify there, he'll be fine. He might draw attention from these guys, so. I think this wheat's finally done. It's, it's good. Uh, right, you should be in food focus, shouldn't you? Because you grew. Yep. Alright, 8 turns, much better than 26 turns. <laughs> and for that matter, you can... Um, actually, it doesn't really matter at this point. That's not much difference, so blah. Uh, yeah, same for you. You're kind of... Got all your food topped up. Starting to run a tiles to improve here. <laughs> oh, hey, that's done finally. Good. Or rather, it's been done. Is it locked down? Okay. For some reason, I was thinking that was the guy, but it was a different guy that finished that. Uh, 14 turns, you pick all these things up. Not that interesting. It looks policy come. Okay, 7 turns till secularism. That's good. Oh, hey, Katmandu. What's up? Uh, you want culture. Okay. How's... How many specialists? They're all running the specialists, right? Okay. Just had to check. <laughs> oh, that's why the ruin's still there. Hey, man, Mr. Barbary. <laughs> What's up? Ugh. Hello and goodbye. Ooh, yeah. Here we go. This is what I was talking about with that Citadel. I think I'm going to go ahead and kind of drop it here in just a second. Uh, there's another scientist. Oh, it's a physics. That works. Uh, eight turns in like steel. Okay. Uh, yep, Forbidden Palace. Hmm. Oh, yeah, 
there's a musket right there. Hmm. How do we go about this? I kind of want to put something, a guy here. Actually, yeah, let's just drop the citadel right here, because you guys can just retreat straight up. And then this guy can drop the citadel in here. I don't want to worry about stealing Washington's tiles or anything. I just lose a farm. Nah. Not the end of the world. And yeah, you'll just wait there. You. Ch we'll chip this guy down a little bit. Uh. Yep, there goes him. And there goes the trebuchet. So again, that might come around here to a cob, but that's actually a lot easier to deal with because I can start putting a couple of, uh. I forgot that I can put my own crossbowman out here, I think, in a bit. And, uh, defend the open terrain a lot easier because they'll just come in here and get shot up. Which is, meh, whatever. He's out with this guy over here. Everything's good. Alright, so this may be actually be the last great scientist I plant. Uh, I'm gonna put this crossbow over here just, uh, well. Okay, it didn't happen, but... I was thinking he's watching the Dazmi, me, but I don't see that happening. He's not gonna come steal my scientist. I don't think he would pick now of all times to do it. He finally did drop Chicago, I think, which is nice. <laughs> Gets that settler to go away, finally. Uh, yeah, let's get you out of here. <laughs> that ruin's gonna be at the end of the game, and someone's probably gonna pop, like, Atomic Theory or something. <laughs> with the ruin. You guys don't remember the part of history where people, where they discovered nuclear weapons? For an ancient ruin? Yeah, there's architecture. Yay! Alright. And let's just grab pretty press while we're at it. How long is Portion Tower going to take? Eh, 14 turns. That's not too bad. Especially with some overflow from the Epic, I think. When you have... Well, actually, there may not be overflow. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Alright. So that may be the last one actually drop uh, that way. Ooh, 19 turns. No mistake, I think. Hmm. Uh, yeah, well, I can go... F I can put a four uh, farm in that tile, though, when I actually clear this... Uh, so we just spam out of here. Uh, there's something with a tile, is there? Okay, no, there's not. Uh, yeah, we'll just... That's okay, we can leave him there. And you can come around here with the road. And we'll leave you there to get finish healing up. I don't want to pick one of these freaking tiles up already. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, I don't know. In hindsight, maybe I should have settled on the coast here. It's so like I could get a fishing boat off of that fish, but nah. That's the only thing that goes wrong. On the other hand, I didn't have to deal with like a navy coming there, like trying to snipe through from behind. I think it was well worth the uh, the trade off. So, you know, if I put this on the coast, I'd be getting bombarded with like American, like, like these tri raves, and he'd probably have like frigates or something dumb like that. Or the Swedes would, one of the two, and it would just be kind of blah. This way, the only way it can be captured is by either, like, you know, stuff coming on land through this horrible terrain right here, or pushing through Babylon, which is, yeah, not gonna happen. Ah, yeah, Sweden asked Rome. Sweden, are you done yet? Oh, good. One person. Are you done yet? No, you still want a cod. Alright. Yeah, let's grab Porcelain Tower. So, 14 turns. If I put this... Alright, 13 turns. That, that's good. There we go. So, about turn 150, it'll be done. That's that's doable. Porcelain Tower doesn't usually go until much later than that. Unless, like, you have, like, a science... A big runaway, like, science or anything. Like, Hawatha, if he's a big runaway, will build Porcelain Tower very, very early. But... What do you... Do you still build them? Okay, you're building a bank now. Gotcha. Yep, see. Uh, he's back on food focus, I think. So, or to fall focus. So, yeah, he's running all his possible specialists, which is just kind of stupid. Oh, well. Not necessarily stupid, but it generate, they generate great people that they don't need and don't know how to use properly. You can see all the time you'll see them generate merchants or whatever a lot of the times that they don't need. Mr. Spearman. Uh, there goes Mr. Timer. 
Uh, I may or may not do another video of this session. If I do, though, either way, I'm definitely going to save and reload to get rid of this frickin' music, which has been going for the entire video. Ugh. <laughs> Alright. After this turn's done, or this turn finishes loading. Oh, hey, there goes a great merchant, which is... Yeah, I'm not letting that happen. Um... Yeah. Let's get you in here and... Plink. Plink. Yoink. He's dead. Alright. So I think we'll just go ahead and leave this here. Uh, next time we'll work on the parts on the tower. We'll probably get secularism pretty soon. And... Yeah. Alright. So I'll see you guys in episode 4. Hopefully without this music. Ugh.